What's up, y'all? Shaboy Leon Tukulu. Welcome to my channel. Like if you like my review. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I'm about to dive right into Krypton episode 6. Really enjoyed this episode. This one, the best episode. Due to the connections of current Superman and past. Like, how they were intersecting. This was, it was just crazy. It started off with the whole Zod situation. Finding out that uh, Lighter's child is General Zod and Adam Strange reacting the way we expected him to react when he had the gun to his head. Uh, it was also very religious through the little girl's eyes. Um, you saw um, Brainiac really interact with the little girl, like trying to really understand Krypton. And he was finding it so beautiful through this little girl's eyes. It made Brainiac human. If you understand what I'm saying, um, again, the production design of this show is amazing. They have some of the best establishing shots, like Kendall is a beautiful place. Then we also got a, a moment where uh, there's Vex family who was really trying to fulfill, you know, their mission to take over Kandar. Like, I don't really know much about the Vex family. It's probably because they were taken by Brainiac in the city of Kandor. But they're a really ruthless family. They were talking with um, Lighter's mother, executing the plan, telling Lighter to recruit uh, Dave. Yeah, that's what his name is, Dave. And Dave just fell into place, I guess, because he didn't like how Lighter was being treated. And he was on the edge with... Um, General Zod, when he had the gun to him the whole time, he wasn't letting off. Uh, then Zed found, Zeg found out the truth about Krypton's demise 200 years from now. And he was mad at Adam for not telling him, ultimately taking the gun, Lighter took the gun, and they were hearing both sides of the story. And because they Kryptonians, they like Zod's side of the story where they don't ultimately have to die. It was a weird dynamic because you knew it had to happen for Superman to come to Earth. And, but you, you, Adam was also asking Lighter for, I mean, Zeg for so much to give up his home planet. And I feel like Zeg kind of chose the right way in a sense. Like self-preservation type of shit. Because he couldn't just be like, ah, oh, because my son survives, I'm going to let everybody else die. Like, yo, that was a big moment. There was another dope established shot where they were showing all the spaceships leading to the, um, that, that place they always at. I think the headquarters of the Zod and the cops of Krypton, let me put it that way the judges and everything else that dude who was suspicious about that black order dude being released the way he got killed by Lida's mom was so sad because he was basically the good guy the fact that ah uh, doomsday was created by the zod family and the l family and how they mix both the sigils it looked cool as hell no lie even when they were dropping their blood and it reappeared krypton's technology is legit cool Doomsday looked awesome. Let's be honest. Doomsday. Ah, oh, he looked legit. Doomsday. Ah. Uh, then we had the, also the moment where Brainiac took off his mask. We finally got to see the voice of Rao's face, but infected by Brainiac. In that last showdown where he basically was infecting and taking knowledge from a bunch of people. I wonder if Dave will be infected that that would just be an unexpected moment but i really enjoyed this episode it was best episode so far i give it an eight out of eight point five out of ten it was amazing like it was really relatable you you wanted him to pick adam strange's side because of superman and what he is but you understand why zach didn't you know what i'm saying and it was an amazing episode general zart showed why he was general zart and why he shouldn't be trusted but because it was Kryptonian, they just fell into his head. I feel like they're gonna see why he he's hated by Superman and their arch enemy. 
nemesis you know what i'm saying i really enjoy this episode subscribe if you're not subscribed i'm about to dive right into the reaction for the next episode it's called transformation i dive right in we're here to destroy us don't be foolish i'm here to save you it's a sneak peek from what entropy i will lead the city into a glorious new future a way of life preserved for all eternity so he did get the upper hand of the future has the same goals the same vision let me serve you an interesting offer let's put your newfound loyalty to the test Preservation. I never saw them again. All I know is their God couldn't save them any more than Rao could save his prophet from you. It's a long ass new pizza. Does to play the infected Brainiac and Brainiac? No. <sighs> Perhaps you may be useful after all. <sighs> Tell me. He's gonna take your city, How man. Do you deal with these creatures? They must be publicly executed. All of them. A message must be sent. The people will expect it. Let it be done. Yo. I do have one more question. He just betrayed everybody he recruited. Have you given me the names of all the conspirators? Does he want to give up his daughter? Yes, sir, thanks. My daughter. Yo, then he just gives her up. She was also involved. Then she must be executed too. God damn. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. God damn. God damn. <laughs>